Hello everyone, I am Erica of the storytellingjeweler.com and this is our usual Friday's live be together to make sure that no one has to be it alone. So please let me know if you can hear me, if you can see me. According to my computer, the technical side should be all right, but I would really like to get a confirmation first from, from you to be a hundred percent sure that everything is all right. Hello, Sarah. So nice to see you here. I hope you are doing well. Hello, Connie, Donna, Petra. Okay, Donna says that uh, she can see me and hear me just fine. So I hope that everything is all right. Hello, Kata, Karen, Ingrid, Frida. Ola, oh, wonderful, wonderful. Welcome, ladies. So I hope that everyone is already excited. I am because I love sets of jewelry. And today we are going to beat together a matching bracelet for last week's pendant. And we also have Monica, Maria, Cheryl. Cheryl will all be, only be watching today as she forgot to prepare. But Cheryl, like if you, uh, if you have something else on your hand, what you would like to work on, then don't worry if it's something else than our project. We are just happy that you are here and it will be still fun to be together. Liv, hello, Anne, Niti, Maria, Viveka, Corinne, Alex, Mektab, Sarah, Teresa, Alice, Vered, welcome ladies. Already about 50 of us for many different countries, if even different continents. So let's start with some very important information. I am putting the link you need for the printable file in a comment. And I will also put it on the screen. It is the same as always, by the way, the storytellingjeweler.com slash no one has to be the alone slash. That slash at the end is also very important. Don't forget to type it in or to copy it correctly from the comment field. And then you will have, if you visit the page, you will have two options to download the printable file. Uh, the first option is my helping hand to you if you experience difficulties because of the current COVID crisis. So you can download the printable for free. And the second option is to buy it for a small fee and to uh, support the broadcast also this way. By the way, I am very, very uh, grateful every time when someone decides to hit the share button or um, write, uh, decides to write a review, invite a friend or two. It's wonderful to see the community growing. So thank you so much for your time for doing that. In the meanwhile, Vicky, Kathy, Gunnel, Reinhilde, Monica joined us also. Welcome, ladies. So today's project is the matching bracelet for last week's pendant. This was the pendant we were beading together. Just a sec, I will, I can hopefully put it on screen. Yes. So this is the pendant we were working on last week. And originally, I didn't even plan to make a bracelet. But uh, last week on uh, Sunday, I had a very lovely visit from Niti, actually, who is also with us here. And we were beading on my balcony the whole day. And it started out as a pair of matching earrings, but somehow I switched for a bracelet instead. So the bracelet design, it was, uh, it was born while we were working together, beading together on my balcony last week. And here is a bigger picture. So, yeah. 
And in the meanwhile, also Nancy, Hilly, Anna, uh, Anna joined us. And as Hilly says, indeed, happy Independence Weekend for all US members of the group. Indeed, happy 4th of July, everyone. And is stopping by to say hello. And she almost finished her fifth traveler. That's amazing. That's amazing, Anne. So, by the way, this week, earlier this week, I published the second article collecting your projects for the tra your traveler projects. So if you would like to check out the collection, then make sure to visit the storytellingjeweler.com and click on the blog. There is a wonderful selection of stories and beadwork. I really love seeing your work. So keep it coming. Uh, there might be a third article coming even because there are so many beautiful pieces. So uh, usually this time I mention uh, our special deal for the weekend and our special uh, for the week and our special, week, uh, special deal for the week, and in this case only for the weekend actually, uh, is included in the printable file which you can download for today's bracelet. And on top of the motifs, you might see that I have used some Preciosa Sue on rhinestones. And yeah, I ordered them a couple of years ago. Uh, when I couldn't find rhinestones in the colors I like. So they were made uh, as a custom order for the storytellingjeweler.com. And if you visit the page, then you will find really like rare to find colors of Suwon rhinestones, like this turquoise, for example, but also chrysolite opal, amethyst opal, rose opal, starlight gold, and many more. And the tutorial, if you download it, then on the last page, you will find a 15% gift code if you would like to try them. Uh, they look great on top of motifs, like in the bracelet, for example. By the way, I'm also thinking of adding the Suwon rhinestones into the, uh, to the pendant we have made last week because it has the same structure. So it would totally be possible to add the Suvan rhinestones on top of it, top of it too, four of them. But also I wanted to uh, show you these earrings, the Calypso earrings. They also use the Preciosa Suvan rhinestones so they can be used in many different ways. So, in the meanwhile, we also have Deb and Anne says, I don't have enough of the same colors as last week. So going for different colors, therefore won't be a set. That's also a great option. And then maybe if you want, you can finish actually two sets, making another bracelet and making another pendant. So who knows? Cheryl, Beverly, Vania, Nicoline. Hello, Nicoline. Jessica. Oops, Nicolini is searching for her rhinestones. I hope you find them. Joanna is here with us. Welcome, Joanna. Joanna's son is graduating from high school, by the way, this week. So congratulations. And yeah, the most important news of the week hands up ladies that who is thinking about uh, about uh, participating in the first storytelling beading contest we, we actually have a question about the beading contest from Deb. she's asking for the contest can you enter all the pieces you make that go with the no one has to be the loan uh, the no one has to be the loan is the second category we have three different categories so the pieces we uh, make on fridays you can enter in the second category and you can choose one to enter in the competition so you can choose your best piece of jewelry. And in the meanwhile, Elsbeta, Sharon, 
Annaline, Andrea. He joined us also. Oh, and Sharon, she says, hi from Buffalo, New York. So excited finding the article in Be The Matter About You. <laughs> thank you for actually reminding me of it, Sharon, and thank you for joining us. Uh, yeah, there is actually a big feature interview with me in the current issue of Be The Button. In the online edition is already available. And those of you who will get the printed uh, copy a bit later, well, you can look forward to it already. Uh, it has a lot of information about, uh, about my life as a beadwork designer, inspiration behind the pieces, and yeah, most importantly, my passion for, <laughs> for designing and teaching. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you for being here, Sharon. So about participation in the contest, Cheryl says she has started two out of the three categories. Petra will participate. I am really looking forward to your pieces, Petra. Kata, yes, but not yet started. Vania, Sarah, Andrea will also participate. That's great. Sarah, yeah. And Sarah has a question. She is asking, can we compete with jewelry that we already posted on pages? Yes, Sarah, you can. Just like don't say it publicly that this is my piece for the competition. So it would be nice to keep it as a secret, but of course you can. And Niti says, I already started with one. This row is four color versions by now. I'm considering making another project instead. Oh, well, that's the time maybe to like take a step back, be it something else, just a little small project to take your mind off, to like give yourself some ease and then return. And you will see, you will have the energy again. Mm, Beverly is asking if it is the June issue. Yeah, it's the one which is being published now. And oh, Deb, yeah, thanks for specifying the question. So Deb is asking if she can compete with a set. Uh, according to the rules, it should be like one piece of jewelry. So please select the one which you think is the most elaborate, which makes like the biggest impression. So please only one piece of jewelry, not a set. And yeah, I have big news about I big I have big news about the competition. As you know, the main sponsor of our competition is Matubo, Matubo Beads, the creator of gem duos and ginkos and super duos. But we will actually have another sponsor. And more prizes and the prices are just fantastic what we are getting from this sponsor so i'm really really excited and so as you can see on this renewed image besides matubo Kalmbach, the publishing company of the Beaton Button magazine and the organizers of the Beaton Button show, uh, decided to sponsor our competition. And they are sending us some books which will also be included in the prizes. Moreover, the winners of the categories they will have a very, very good chance being published on the pages of Beaton Button. It might be online. Maybe it's the social media page. We didn't specify it yet. Maybe in the printed ed edition. Let's see. 
But in any case, I think it will be wonderful and it is a wonderful opportunity to show what you can what you can make. So I really hope that this motivates you even more than until now. And yeah, I'm looking at the comment. Gunnar says, I usually never do, but I will try to. I'm so happy to read that, Gunnar. It is so stimulating in this lovely group, and you are really a wonderful teacher. Thank you so much, Gunnar. You are wonderful students, all of you. And when I see you inspiring each other and helping out each other when uh, someone has a question, that's wonderful. Linda is asking, can I enter with a pendant that I made from one of your tutorials? Yes, please uh, read the rules of the contest. I will put them here in the in a comment. And yes, indeed. <laughs> Yeah, Kata says, simply wow. Petra also with the wow, great prices. Vanya says, how lucky are we? Thank you, Erica. Sarah, don't dare to be nervous. It's an opportunity. Nicolin says, this is very good news, Erica. I, I, I think... Uh, I think so too. It's a great opportunity for you to get into the show light. And there are many, many reasons to enter a competition, not only the prices, but I think it's lots of fun, most importantly. That's also what one of our jurors, Jury members, Katie says, Katie Dean of Beat Flowers. She says, I absolutely agree with all of that. We were discussing earlier this week, why is it nice to enter a competition? And she says, it's a great opportunity to dream big and have fun. Can't wait to see what everyone will come up with. Then our fellow member in the group, Miriam says, browsing through the participating pieces will definitely inspire us and we might do the same for others. This is what is coming to my mind. Participating in the contest gets me to put a few of the thousand ideas I have together and forces me to finish the beadwork. So it also, it also makes us more focused. And then Kapana. Kapana says, for someone like me who would be participating in a contest for the first time, it's an opportunity to prove to myself that I can do it in spite of all the doubts in my mind. And the goal is, it's not to win, or yeah, it might be, right? <laughs> but <laughs> the goal is, most importantly, to get out of your comfort zone and to accomplish something what might not come to life without a competition. Push yourself a little bit and let's see where you can go because you can go. I know you are ready after this time spent with you and I know that you can go very, very far. You are all amazingly creative. And yeah, yeah Cheryl says, I love that from Kathy. And nervous here too, but also excited. And Niti says, and I couldn't agree more, no need to be nervous. You have great pieces. And I would actually like to show what Cheryl wrote us also in a comment about the reasons that why is it nice to enter a competition. She says, I admit that even though the judges are all very lovely, I'm a little nervous. 
it feels a little odd to put an offering before such amazing, talented people. But I know that's just my head being silly. I have only been beading for 18 months, and the standard I have seen from my fellow beaders here is super high. But I have ideas, so I'm going to use those ideas. For me, winning isn't my goal. Being brave and entering is the goal. I am enjoying being excited by my ideas and trying to make them work. As I work on my pieces, I'm feeling a little proud of myself for trying. And I'm loving what I have done so far too. So I guess in a lot of respects, uh, I have already achieved my aims. This and I get to see lots of amazing pieces from all those amazingly talented individuals. I am looking forward to congratulating the winners and admiring what they have made. And I would like to finish talking about the competition uh, with Cheryl's uh, comment, because I think it says it all. And thank you so much for putting down your thoughts in a comment, Cheryl. Thank you. And I'm wishing you all lots and lots of fun and inspiration. And I can't wait to see your creations. Good luck to everyone. So finally, Hachaturian bracelet. It is about time to start working on it, right? <laughs> And yeah, let's go over the material list one more time to make sure that everyone has everything what we need. And just before we go, yeah, one more thought. A big, big, big thank you to both of our sponsors, both to uh, Kalmbach the creator of Beat and Button Show and Magazine, and Matubo Beads for all the inspiring uh, shapes they are bringing to us and the great prizes. So, yeah, and from Petra. For me to join a contest is more important than to win. It's all about the fun. Exactly. Thank you. So, Hachaturian bracelet. Are you ladies prepared? I hope you are getting excited. We will need the usual number 12 or 4LB fire line. I always use smoke gray or the black satin specifically developed for beaders so it doesn't leave stains on our hands or on our beadwork. Then I am using a uh, number 10 tulip beading needle. Then we will also need six millimeter pearls. Those are the blue ones on the edge, uh, both edges of my bracelet. Then you will also need four millimeter round pearls, the golden ones in my bracelet. Then we will need number 11 delica beads. We will need Num uh, number 15 Miyuki seed beads. We will need quarter tila beads. Those are the red ones connecting the pieces. And we will, I used on top of the motifs, I used four millimeter or SS16 rhinestones in this beautiful matte turquoise color. But actually in place of the rhinestones, because I know that it's a bit tricky to get them, uh, well, we have them at the storytellingjeweler.com, but it's not possible, unfortunately, at, uh, nowadays to ship that fast. Uh, but today, you can substitute the four millimeter rhinestones, the uh, Suwon rhinestones, basically with any kind of bead. Important is it should be around three, four millimeter big. It can be a fire polished bead. It can be the same bicon bead what you used for your pendant last week. It can be hmm, a rondelle, for example, a gloss rondelle. And yeah, the only thing what you might have to do 
is to adjust the number of the seed beads which are holding this bead in the middle. But otherwise, the shape of the bracelet will not be affected by your choice of beads. So can we get started? I hope you are excited and let me know. What are you using? Are you using rhinestones or are you going to try something else in place of the rhinestones? In the meanwhile, Brigitte also joined us. Hello, Brigitte. And Joanna says, it was a wonderful comment. I think you said what some of us don't have the words to say it. So thank you again, Cheryl. And don't dare to type less in the future. <laughs> I love reading what you all think. Mariella also says, Cheryl's words do say it all. So, Vania is using four millimeter bicons. Connie is still thinking about the colors. Alice is using four millimeter fire polished. Anne has four millimeter Montes. Those are great. Maya has bicons also. And I will continue with the same rhinestones as I as uh, one rhinestones, which I used already in this bracelet, because I will actually, this is like half a bracelet for now. And I will try to finish it today with you. Gunnel is also using Rose Montes. So could you download the file? Are you prepared? Please tell me a big yes in a comment and then we can start. Deb is using a bit smaller Montes. Then you might need to add one more round seed bead and that's it. Donna is using round duos. <laughs> I am already looking forward to see all the variations you will be creating today. Brian Hiloso has Montes. And you are getting ready. Maria is. Alice is ready. Anita is ready. Hello, Anita. Viveka is ready. So let's get started. So use about a wingspan of fireline for the beginning. There is a chance that you will, a big chance that you will be, uh, you will have to add some thread. So use a comfortable length and if needed, then you can add some. And first we will start with a motif made out of quarter tila beads, four millimeter round pearls and six millimeter round pearls. And Vania says, my husband was nice enough to get more ink and already printed my copy. Wow, say hello, say thank you to him in her name. <laughs> so the quarter tila beads, they have actually bumps. So if you are a perfectionist beader, then make sure that all the bumps are facing the top of the motif. And what is very important that always Take a look at the holes before you attach a quarter tila, because sometimes the holes of uh, beads can be clogged. And in the case of multi-hole beads, it is a nasty surprise if, it, if you notice it later that the second hole uh, is clogged. So please leave about 10, 12 centimeter long tail and you can uh, secure and trim this tail uh, later. And now please pick up a quarter tila bead, a four millimeter round pearl, a six millimeter round pearl, another four millimeter round pearl, quarter tila, tila, and then again four millimeter, six millimeter, four millimeter. This is the same motif used in the pendant. So it might be familiar actually. And then please bead through the first hole, the same hole of the first quarter tila you picked up at the beginning of this step. So you join all the beads into 
a deformed circle, an oval, <laughs> with a quarter tila at the bottom and with a quarter tila at the, at the uh, top. Vanya says he supports my beading. That's great. And Zuzi is with us for a second. She says, hello, Erica and everyone. Just wanted to greet you all. Kids say ahoy. I will catch up later. Have fun with the kiddos, Zuzi. And we are looking forward to see you later. So ladies, please let me know how are you doing with the preparations and, and with step number one. So in the meanwhile, I will put step number two on the screen too. And in this step, we'll be using number 15 seed beads. We are saying goodbye to Niti for today. She says, bye ladies, I'm off to get new eyes. Have fun and excited to see your pieces. We are also excited to see your new glasses and your beadwork in the future <laughs> with better eyesight even, just in time for the competition. So back to the Hachaturian bracelet. At the uh, beginning of step number two, you are exiting the top hole of the bottom quarter tila. You need to bead through the through a four millimeter round pearl, then pick up a number 15 seed bead, bead through the six millimeter round pearl, and bead through the two four millimeter round pearls. So basically you make, you retrace the uh, same thread pass as in step number one, but you skip the quarter tila at the top and you add number 15 seed beads in between the pearls. You don't need seed beads between the quarter tila and the four millimeter pearls, but you need seed, uh, seed beads between the four millimeter and the six millimeter. And you should finish by beading through the a four millimeter bead and then both holes of the first quarter tila. So you finish at the bottom at the very bottom and your thread will hang in the opposite direction as before. Corinna says, hello Corinna. Today I am just sitting with you and enjoying the company. I will make the bracelet later. Glad to have you with us still, even without beads and take a good rest if that's what you need, uh, need today. And ladies, please tell me how are you doing with step number two? I will put step number three already on the screen. And here, after beading through the open hole of the quarter tila, uh, you need to pick up Okay, before we uh, before I explain, Wanda is asking, just started watching, where do you find the tutorial? Thanks, beautiful work. Thank you so much, Wanda. You can find the tutorial always at the storytellingjeweler.com slash no one has to be the loan slash. I put the link in a comment. You will need to copy it into your browser. So back to step number three, you are exiting the bottom hole of the quarter tila in the bottom. Pick up two pieces of number 11 delica beads and then four pieces of number 15 seed beads. And then please bead through the, um, through the four millimeter round pearl at the bottom left of the motif in the opposite direction, back towards the quarter tila. And then please bead through these four new seed beads one more time. 
after beading through the four new seed beads, you will need to sew uh, through the seed bead added in the previous step, which is between the four millimeter round pearl and between the six millimeter round pearl. Afterward, you pick up seven pieces of seed beads and again you bead through the seed bead between the six millimeter and the and the uh, four millimeter round pearl after beading through that uh, that bead again you need to pick up four seed beads bead down through the four millimeter round pearl and up again through the four new seed beads. Then you pick up two pieces of number 11 delicas and you bead through the top hole of the quartertilla at the top. And then you repeat the same on the other side of the motif. This is the one and only tricky step actually in case of this bracelet. Please let me know if you could follow me and if you can follow the illustration. I would really like to hear your feedback. In the meanwhile, I'm working on my one tip too, picking up the seven pieces of seed beads to decorate the six millimeter to go around the six millimeter round pearl on the side. Then I'm picking up four pieces of seed beads and I'm beading down through the round pearl at the top left. I'm beading through the new seed beads again and then I connect them to the top hole of the quarter tiller with two number 11 delica beads. Okay, Sarah, Monica, Viveka are saying that it's easy to follow. So I'm very happy to hear that. I always want to make sure that everyone is able to follow and I'm always happy to repeat the instructions or phrase them in a different way. So if you have any, any doubts, then please ask, I'm here to answer. Maria, Malka are also all right, great. So I am picking now up already the seven seed beads on the opposite side. And Miriam, she's with us for a bit. She says, hello, ladies, hope you are all fine. Just arrived at home. My beads are not ready. We'll bead later. Thank you for uh, saying, saying hello, Miriam. And I'm looking forward to see your version. And if you even if you join later or you beat something else, you are more than welcome, of course, to spend the evening with us. Katalin says clear and step three is okay. Connie is asking, do you make one or two? One or two of, can you please specify one or two of what? Irene, hello Irene. Hello, can only spend a little time this morning. We will make this great design later. Thank you for joining even if for a little time. What kind of colors are you going to use? I'm curious to hear. <gasps> ah, Kathleen. Kathleen says, Connie is asking how many I do. <laughs> I'm also. <gasps> uh, I, I'm also curious to know 
how many color combinations will Kata make from the bracelet. She's always making more than one. Sometimes even four. There was, I think, the Papillon earrings maybe, where you beaded four different color combinations. That was a good design, right? Pretty fast and easy. And I remember that even if it was like really small, then you ladies came off up with so many great variations. So that's also a very nice option to enter in the contest, I think. <laughs> yeah, Miriam is saying, usually Kantalin is beating five parallelly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she has more than one. So we are at the end of step number three. And at least I am. And I am exiting the bottom hole of the bot bottom quarter tila. And Kata says, in fact, I make a matching one uh, to the pendant and I have four more small packs here, which I pulled out in urgency. But now working on one, I am a bit exhausted today and I don't wonder Kata. And ladies, please congratulate, uh, say big, big, big congratulations to Katalin because this week she had a very important exam. And as you might know, she is, uh, her mother tongue is Hungarian, just like mine. But the test, what she, what she did for the certification, she had to use legal Swedish and she aced it. And she was actually one of the best. So congratulations, Kata. You can be so, so, so proud of yourself. This is such an achievement. And yeah, rest after this exhausting week, please. Congrats to Kata from Honey. <laughs> and from Maria. And from Miriam. <laughs> so. And Deb. <laughs> And Katalin is saying thank you. <laughs> so I will now hide the first picture. And I will show you the fourth step. Just a sec. Yes. Here it is. So in the first step, you begin it by exiting the bottom hole of the quarter tila in the bottom. And please bead up through two Miyuki Delica beads, through four uh, number 15 seed beads, which we added around the four millimeter round burr, then please go through the seed bead between the four millimeter and the six millimeter pearl, and also bead through the six millimeter pearl itself. And this is the step when we are attaching the uh, rhinestone. I am attaching the rhinestone and you are attaching your bicons and uh, roundels and fire polished beads. So in my case, I will pick up four pieces of the seed beads. I will bead through one of the holes of the Suvon rhinestone. Then I will pick up four more seed beads and then I bead up through the six millimeter round pearl on the opposite side. I am exiting now the opposite uh, on the opposite side the six millimeter round pearl. I pick up four number 15 seed beads then I bead through the rhinestone and I pick up four more seed beads and bead up through the original pearl. 
And if you are using a different uh, size and a different type of bead, then you will need to experiment a bit that how many seed beads do you need to add on both sides of your bead. And when you have it, when you work it out, then please feel free to share uh, the result in a comment because someone else might also work with the same type of bead. So let's help each other with, uh, with this. And in the meanwhile, Kata is getting even more congratulations from Hilly and Cheryl and Vania and Joanna and Alice and Mariella and Anneline and Joanna says, hope you can now relax a bit and enjoy yourself. It sounds like you have most definitely earned some time to relax. Nicolin says, I will use four millimeter bicons. I think I have not found the rhinestones. Sarah says, I need eight instead of seven number 15 besides the six millimeter. It can happen depending on the manufacturer of the six millimeter beads, because even if it's also around and even if it's also six millimeter, they can differ a little bit. But for example, Swarovski pearls, they are more perfectly round than glass pearls. And even between glass pearls, different manufacturers can make them a little bit more elongated or a little bit more circular. So it can cause differences. And in fact, Katalin is going on vacation in, uh, next week. So well-deserved rest is coming. And now Erica needs to find the rhinestones because I prepared everything. But Nicolene, I also uh, misplaced my rhinestones. You are not alone. If that is any consolation to you, you are not alone in this. Okay, I have them. I actually put them back where they belong. <laughs> that was easy. Now just to pick the right ones because I have the turquoise ones and all the other colors too in silver and gold setting. So let's see, I used the ones with gold setting last week mm, when I was designing on Sunday the bracelet. So let's make sure to continue with the turquoise in a gold setting. Okay, that's it. And Debbie's saying uh, she needed with the smaller rhinestone five pieces of the seed beads. Thank you, Deb, for sharing. Vania is asking if Annalyn is here today. I yes, she is. She was here earlier uh, with us. And Deb says, I'm liking it a lot. Then I'm very happy, Deb. Sarah says, I use uh, number 15 still. They are small, I think. Actually, you are so right that it doesn't depend only on the six millimeter round pearl, but of course also on the seed beads, that if it is a different kind of color, or especially if it's not Miyuki, but Toho, then there will be a difference. Very good point, Sarah. Thank you. And finally, I'm starting to pick up my seed beads and the rhinestones. Sorry, ladies, I'm behind a bit. <laughs> so please let me know, ladies, that how is it working out with your variations? I know that some of you have bicons and fire polished beads and different kinds of decoration for the top. So let's share with each other that how is it going. Oh, Vania says, I sent Annalina a message on the messenger as I want to chat about her traveler and her experience in Brazil. Vania, that's such a nice connection. I love seeing it like uh, Vania, 
was born in Brazil and Annalene spent a year in Brazil during uh, during her studies. So she beaded a very, very beautiful traveler pendant, remembering her time in Brazil. It is actually the featured image of the blog article for the second traveler uh, collection on the blog. So that is so nice to see. And says she needs only three pieces of uh, number 15 speed of four millimeter Monty. Oh, and Mactub got knots and has to start all, all over again. I'm so sorry. And Rainhilda is also liking it. <laughs> That's great. That's great. So. Ladies, I will now hide the second image and then I will show you the fifth, the fifth step. Here it is. So after uh, and about variations, okay, that's very important. Alice says, I used four number 15s and fire polished, uh, but uh, fours, it's not flat, so may just need three uh, seed beads. And Brigitte is using half tilas in instead of the quarter tilas. I am really looking to forward to see that variation. Mariella, she says, using three times four millimeter rondelles and they need four number 15s. Thank you so much for sharing the intel. <laughs> Sarah says, I love this design. <laughs> Vanias, you are so kind. Vania says, I want to publicly congratulate Annalene. Those colors are not easy to work with, and she did a wonderful job. And ladies, I actually have Annalene's piece here. Okay, I will hide number three, and I will show you. Okay, I have... I have a bit of problem with scrolling here. So it is a bit of a trouble to find the picture I am looking for. So please bear with me. But I actually have Annalyn's beautiful piece here. And yeah, it is indeed a very, very beautiful jewel. She used a pendant in the shape of a parrot, which is a special bird in the area. This beautiful green and the colors of the Brazilian flag and even the coin is representing Brazil. Very well done, Annaline. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. And the stars and the stars. Uh, if you want to want to read all about uh, Annaline's story, by the way, then it is the whole of it. It is on the uh, available in the article. But now I remember that the stars at the top right corner, they are also representing uh, the provinces of Brazil. So there is a lot of symbolism in this beautiful piece. And yeah, Cheryl says it's, it's beautiful. And Katy, thank you so much for the info. Katy says, I used a four millimeter bicon and 15s worked out per instructions. Thank you so much. And then says, Erica, thank you for taking me out of my comfort zone of only doing peyote stitch. Thank you for accepting my invitation to get uncomfortable, Deb. You made such a long journey and you did amazing pieces. 
thank you so much for taking the, uh, up the challenge. And Vanya says, Anulin, please message me back when you can. <laughs> Probably your message ended up in Annalyn's other folder, so she didn't notice it. And back to the back to the bracelet. So after we finished adding the decoration on the top of the motif, we will need to bead up all the way to the top hole of the quarter tila on the top of the motif. And as you might know, I like to make bracelets in one go. I don't like it when we have to start uh, uh, with a new thread again and again. So here we are connecting the next motif right away. Please bead through the top hole of the quarter tila, and then you can attach another quarter tila with leather stitch on top of it. So basically, just um, after going through the quarter tila, pick up a new quarter tila and bead one more time through the original quarter tila. This little loop you can do two times to reinforce the connection and then bead through the bottom, bottom hole of the new quarter tila again and turn to the other direction by beading through the top hole of the new quarter tila. And we have Annalyn here. She says, sorry, my computer has problems. I'm on another device now. Thank you for showing my traveler. And yeah, Annalyn is saying, when yeah, I'm here. <laughs> so, how are you doing with your with your bracelets ladies now we actually just got into position to repeat the same over and over again because i will put the image on the screen again so the exit point of the fifth image is the same as the starting point for the first step. So this new quarter tila, which we attached uh, to the existing motif, it will serve as the bottom quarter tila of a completely new motif. So after exiting the top hole of the new quarter tila, all we need to do is start repeating and we need to pick up a four millimeter pearl, a six millimeter pearl, another four millimeter pearl. Then quarter tila, four millimeter, six millimeter, four millimeter, and beading one more time through the original quarter tila, the same hole to connect everything into like an elongated shape and now we can again fill in number 15 seed beads between the pearls and then we can decorate the motif with some seed beads all around and then we can attach a rhinestone or a bicon or a fire polish or a rondel as Mariela did on the top of the whole motif. So basically this is how it goes. And then I recommend to download the tutorial, even if uh, this information was enough for now for you, because then it, uh, it is showing you that how to so all around how to bead all around the bracelet one more time while skipping some of the beads to uh, and connect the motifs to each other a little bit more so yeah don't skip it even if even if you think that this imp information was enough and please let me know that how are you doing or if uh, if you have any 
any questions. And I would love to hear that what kind of colors are you working with? And if it's going to be a set with your pendant from the last week, or if it's a completely new jewel. I am picking up my seed beads now so I can decorate the motif all around. So Deb is making a new jewel in new colors. <laughs> and what about the rest of the 60 beaters, 61 beaters who are with us today? Are you making a new bracelet for a new set? Or is it matching your pendant from last week? Nicoline, she says, I am now at step three, but I started very late. Colors dark brown, beige, turquoise, olive, gold, orange. It is a new color combination. And it sounds re really nice, Nicoline. Joanna, red, white, and blue to coordinate with my pendant. Love both Hachaturians. And red, white, and blue to coordinate with Independence Day tomorrow. <laughs> Annalyn says it will be a new jewel with colors I have laying around my bead mat. <laughs> Actually, I do that sometimes that I start beading and then I am just picking up beads from my bead mats, which I would need to like put back into a computer, but instead of like uh, into a container, but instead of searching for the uh, container, <laughs> I rather use them up. <laughs> Mektav has a new one. Miriam says, I'm just thinking about this because I made two pendants last week. Sarah has new colors, pink and steel. Cheryl is working with purple. For Katie, it will be a set. Maria too, it will match her pendant. Mariella says, slightly different colors, but still a set. For Petra, it's also nearly the same colors. Hilly has to go now. She says, bye everyone has to go. Have a lovely weekend and I hope to see you all next Friday. Have a lovely weekend too, Hilly. And thank you for uh, being with us. And Joanna says, my son's birthday is tomorrow. My baby is 19. I'm not sure if he is old now or me. <laughs> you are both very young. <laughs> and congratulations to him. Vania says, my colors are blue, green, ivory, blue quarter tila, peri peridot, uh, Villa uh, becomes a, a, a gold seeds. It will be a set. Alžbeta says, I have no quarter tilas. I use four milk milky delica instead. And it's great getting creative and going for what we have on our hands. Deb says, she has lime green, purple, and dark blue. Mary Ellen, new colors, turquoise and salmon. That sounds really exciting. <laughs> Corinna has a new combination. And Annaline, lavender, mud gold, dark topaz, and turquoise, of course. <laughs> Did I infect you ladies with my love of turquoise or you were already like crazy into turquoise before you have met me? That's a very important question. <laughs> Maria is also congratulating uh, Joanna's son. 
and Alice is working with bronze and white matching the pendant. And that will be super elegant, I think. And Rainhilda's second motive is ready already. <laughs> ready already. <laughs> Gunnell, I am doing earrings in bronze, blue, green, four millimeter pearls and six millimeter. Semi three so, uh, see through lilac and seed beads in turquoise. Quartertillas in bluish color. Annalyn says turquoise is the secret. <laughs> For Miriam, it's her all-time favorite. <laughs> and Sarah says, I don't have many six millimeter rounds. I think I ordered some from you. I have to see, waiting for two orders again. <laughs> and FYI, we are adding new pearls this uh, coming week. And thank you so much for your orders, Sarah. And Maria says, I like turquoise a lot, all blue, in fact. Me too, lately I'm using a lot of blue. Mechtaf says, I'm crazy for turquoise too. That's something what connects us, right? <laughs> Nicolene, I will answer the important question. Turquoise is my favorite color since 40 years. Mariella says, turquoise is a color that goes with everything and everybody, right? I actually have a challenge on my mind, like, tell me a color which doesn't go with turquoise, because I can't think about one. Everything goes with turquoise. <laughs> Mary Ellen, turquoise has always been my favorite. It reminds me of the ocean. Rainhilda is working with white, rose, and bronze, by the way. And Sarah says, I love turquoise, my fab color. <laughs> Nicoline, the, col uh, the color that I learned from you to use is orange. And that goes also well with turquoise, right? <laughs> and you being Dutch, you just, you have the moral obligation to use orange, I think. <laughs> You absolutely have to, Nicolene. <laughs> so, <laughs> Alice says, so true, Erika Turkas is like eating chocolate and drinking coffee. <laughs> I'm still enjoying a cup of coffee basically from Orzuzi because she sent me a care package and I received a, a package of coffee beans from her. So I'm drinking basically a coffee also with Zuzi, even if she couldn't stay with us. <laughs> and Sherry says, I love green. So I have been trying to use other colors and Turkas comes in blue and green varieties. So true. And I can't even decide which one do I like more. I like them both, I think. Do you ladies have a preference or all turquoise is good to go? Anita says, I use pink, silver and a green, white, four millimeter pearl. I'm already like every time when you ladies post a color combination, during the broadcast that you are working with it, I'm already like trying to imagine how will it look like. But you always manage to like make well, something even nicer than I imagine. It's always so and so nice to see the results. Alice says, oh, turquoise, of course, <laughs> for me too. So, ladies, do you have any other questions about the bracelet or are we good to go and maybe start uploading or work in progress photos in the club? Deb is already excited to see everyone's bracelets and me too. 
So please let me know if you have any more questions. Otherwise, we can continue in the storytelling building club and we can show each other what we have been working on. What do you think? So if there are no more questions for now, then I would like to say a big, big, big thank you for all of you to join me today. So no one has to be alone. Please don't forget about the discount code in the tutorial on the last page if you would like to try the Preciosa Suvon rhinestones. By the way, here are some colors. Chrysolite Opal and Turquoise. And I have this light Sapphire Opal. And this is Amethyst Opal, if I remember the name well, just to get you excited. And I am most importantly, really looking forward to see your creations for the storytelling bidding contest. I wish you all a beautiful rest of the day and a nice peaceful, uh, peaceful weekend. And I am looking forward to see you in the storytelling bidding club and see all of your creations. Thank you so much for bidding with us today. So no one of us has to bid alone and see you next week. Goodbye, everyone.